Hello my friends, my name is Artur Rey and I am an Estonian YouTuber. Today we will watch a video about all of the US states, yes all 50 of them. There's a video, it's very short if you compare it to the number of states, 10 minutes long and it talks about every last state, what they are best at and what they are worst at. So I find out the best and worst thing about your state in a matter of 10 minutes. 50 states in the US, and all of them are both best and worst at something. So let's start off alphabetically with Alabama, which is the Alabama. best at college football, having won 16 national championships, but also has the worst student math scores in the country and the least amount of people that walk to work. So they're good at college football and college sports, but that drives the math scores down because everybody's doing college sports. If you're from Alabama, I guess you can, if we talk about any state here, you can confirm it in the comments or just deny it because this might be incorrect also. Over in Alaska, they have the highest average salaries at $44,350 per year. It's so far away, it's like a part of the state from the central government and it has the higher salary. What I guess is Washington is acknowledging the problem that no one lives there and actually giving people money to live there and raising that salary. If you work in Alaska, you get 3000 extra, something like that but also have the nation's highest violent crime rate, rape rate, violence against women rate, and the highest DUI rate. Ooh. Arizona is both the sunniest state with an average 193 clear days per year and the hottest with an average temperature above 100 degrees Fahrenheit in midsummer. Arkansas has the nation's highest rate of dog ownership with 48% of households owning one, but also has the highest divorce rate. Oh no! You can see the funny pattern of that, how the best and the worst thing about a state might correlate. You know, it's connected to each other. 47% of families have dogs in Arkansas and they have the biggest divorce rate. That might be connected. I mean, who knows? Think about it. Maybe having a dog makes you divorce more. Who knows? California, meanwhile, has both the largest population and economy of any state, home to 39.5 million people, which is more people than live in all of Canada. If California was an independent country, it would have the world's fifth largest economy, ahead of the UK and India. But California also has the worst air pollution and smog in the country. Colorado has America's lowest obesity rate at just 22% of the population. I mean, of course, it's the lowest obesity rate. Look at Colorado. It's like it's a rectangle. It's almost a square. Look, how, can you be more precise in drawing drawing the lines on Earth with a ruler? Just a rectangle. Change up the shape. Put put there like a, a triangle at least or something. Maybe you could do like a SpongeBob uh, figurine, and that could be Colorado, maybe but at the same time has the highest rate of fatal motorcycle accidents. Next up in Connecticut, they have the best broadband internet connection and the most dental visits, but also the worst economic inequality, which can perhaps be best seen by the nearby cities of Bridgeport, one of America's poorest cities, and Fairfield, one of her wealthiest. Delaware is a well-known tax haven, so largely due to that, over 60% of Fortune 500 companies are incorporated in the state. But Oh, so Delaware is good with taxes. It's a small state, you can see it's quite tiny. And you guys mentioned that Delaware is like an empty state, there's not much there. It's, it's, there's nothing actually but the tax haven, so firms want to register there for tax, tax purposes, but otherwise it's just almost nothing. If you're from Delaware, you can of course change my mind, because I don't know, you know, I don't know what's in Delaware, I have no idea. I know that only two cops have gone there and that's a small number. Delaware is also considered America's most boring state, with the worst rated nightlife and the fewest movie theaters <laughs> per capita. Oh, no. Florida is both America's flattest state and the one most impacted by hurricanes. And so because of that, it is the most vulnerable state to future climate change. Georgia has the highest quality roads in America, but also has the worst traffic, with the worst bottleneck for trucks in the entire country being located right here in Atlanta. Far away Hawaii has the highest rated healthcare services and the highest life expectancy expectancy, but is also the most expensive state to live in with the nation's highest homeless rate. I highest homeless rate? Is that connected to that there's al always a paradise weather there and you, you can be homeless and not die? And also, why is it so expensive to live there? And the biggest life expectancy? What is it? I wonder if it's bigger than Estonia. I mean, it probably is. We have quite a small life expectancy in Estonia because men die so young and women live a, lo a lot more than men, of course. 
that's so everywhere, but still Estonia men die. I don't know, 50 to 60 year olds, years old, a lot of people die already. Idaho is America's most entrepreneurial state, but is also home to the most hate groups per capita with 7.1 hate groups per million people. Illinois has the healthiest teeth, but also has America's highest pollution health risk and the lowest fiscal stability rank. Meanwhile, Indiana is the best state at high school basketball, but also has the largest number of meth labs. At the same time, Oh no, yeah, I know. Indiana, we have the highest scores in basketball. We are good basketball players, but unfortunately with that also comes the greatest number of meth labs in the entire US. Is that connected? Is, that, is there a correlation between playing good basketball and being a meth addict? I don't think so, it's just a funny, it's, it's a funny pair to be compared. Iowa has the lowest divorce rate while also having the lowest number of LEED certified buildings per capita. Kansas is the nation's largest producer of wheat but also has the lowest growth rate among young people and negative 1% per year, while also being ranked as having America's ugliest natural scenery. Kentucky what do you mean ugliest? How can nature be ugly? Nature is nature, always nature. What, what is it ugly there? If you know anything ugly, Leave it in the comments. I want to know what's ugly. How can nature be? I think man-made things tend to be ugly sometimes. But nature always beautiful, right? Kentucky is home to the longest cave system in the world, but also has the highest rate of adult asthma, at 12% of the state's population. Louisiana, meanwhile, is home to America's largest port, the Port of Southern Louisiana, which handles 60% of all grain the country exports. But the state also has the highest incarceration rate, with 0.8% of the entire state's population currently sitting in jail. 0.8 sitting in jail? How can you function as a state if that huge amount of a population is in jail? Why though? Is are the laws that tough or is just it's just a coincidence that a lot of criminals are there or what? It is a really high number. And I, I know that US as a country has the highest amount of highest percentage of people from population in prison. It's not even that bad in Russia, I think. The US is is, is the biggest number. Maine has the lowest violent crime rate and is also America's least diverse state, with a population that is 94% white. Maryland Ooh. leads the country in highest household income, which averages $80,000 per year, but people here also have the highest debt to income ratio. Massachusetts is. So they have a lot of money, but they are a lot, they owe a lot, right? That's Maryland. What's the history be behind that uh, these East Coast Northern states are so small, connected to the southern western states which are huge gigantic these are massachusetts maryland tiny states all right enough about this now we will jump into the estonian youtuber cup competition let's see how you guys did welcome back my friends to the estonian youtuber cup competition look at this cup it's nice to have this on your shelf or in your kitchen it will make your life much easier and the mood better go and get it but now we will look at seven orders, seven different states, who gets the points. We have Kelly Begunik. Kelly is, could be an Estonian name. Actually, parents put their names Kelly to their daughter here. It's, it's, yeah, I've heard the girls called Kelly. But in America, maybe it's a boy's name. I'm not sure. If you're a guy, then I, you know, forgive me. You are from town Fairmont, West Virginia. Now we have James Tups. Yeah, James, you have a very old, archaic name. Very old name of the kings, the British kings, with a lot of Jameses. And a lot of princes called James. You are from the state where Las Vegas is from, but you're not from Las Vegas, you're from Reno, Nevada. Now we have a European man called Blake Berlin. Berlin, like the city in Germany, right? But no, Blake Berlin, not from Germany. You are from Kenmore, Washington. And not the DC, no, not the District of Columbia, as I googled it, what does it mean? I didn't know what it means, just Washington. We have not had any orders from DC yet. If you're from DC, just get the cup, but right now, Washington gets a point. 22 in Washington already, maybe catching up to Texas or even North Dakota. If you Washingtonians work hard, it's possible. We got a dude called Les Dolby. Dolby like the theater, less like, less, I don't know what less is like. And I don't know what, is it a boy's or a girl's name? I'm assuming you're a guy, just because the statistic says that 90% of you are. Which is strange a bit, we have a sausage fest here. You are from a European town, a German town called Frankfurt, but nope, not in Germany, it's in Delaware. The best 
suitable state for tax purposes. What are we gonna do? We don't have Delaware and we don't have any more room. What should I do? Where should I put it? All right, right now I'll just put it in the middle there and I'll fix the boards and make everything smaller so everything can fit because I know Guam is not a state, it's just an area but I still added it because I couldn't leave it out. Come on guys, we can't leave Guam out. So I'm gonna add new Delaware, I'm gonna add Delaware just right now in the middle and later make room for it. We have Joey Kinniburra. Kinniburra? Burg? Burg? Kinniburg? I don't know how to say the end of your name. End. You're from France. Pierre. The city is called Pierre. Pierre. You Americans say Pierre, I think. It's in South Dakota, not in France. Sorry. Again, a new state. We don't have any more room. Oh my god, I have to make some more room. All right, I'll add South Dakota underneath Delaware and I'll make room for both of them. I need some more boards. I need to take down the wall and install a giant board for you Americans. There, I'll fix that problem later. We have Mikel Laurita. Laurita sounds like a very Hispanic. A Latin Hispanic girl or something, but Mikel obviously in a man's name. You are from Glarksbury, West Virginia. The second one going to West Virginia today. So now West Virginia will have three with you. And that's it for today. I have to think about some, what to do with the... Uh, there's so many states in the US and also with the districtive areas and all that stuff. I want to add them also because it wouldn't be fair if I would just leave Guam out, right? I want to add it. So I'll find a way to find more room, maybe I'll write on the walls. It will be there forever. But now, back to the video. It's the most educated state with over 40% of the population holding a bachelor's degree, but also has the lowest birth rate and was the first state to ban happy hour. Simultaneously, Michigan has the most golf courses per capita of any state, but also has the worst rated state government integrity with very low scores in both transparency and accountability. Minnesota is the state where people spend the most money per capita on recreational activities, but also has the most severe winters in the country with temperatures that plummet down to negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold. Oh, that's almost like Estonia and Finland. That's pretty cold, actually. Minnesotan people could live in Estonia and Finland. They would have no problem. What do, does interest me is, though, we are northern Estonian and Finnish people. We love sauna. We, this is how we got through our winters. Do you have sauna in Minnesota? I don't mean this American sauna. It's like, I mean this real, true Finnish sauna wooden stoves and all of that stuff. Old enough to give you frostbite in under five minutes. People in Mississippi, meanwhile, spend the most time watching pornography, with Pornhub statistics showing that the average user from the state spends 11 minutes and 33 seconds on the site. Missi Wait, 11 minutes and 33 seconds, but per day or per hour, what is the number? This is, yeah, it's, whoa, okay. Mississippi, pee, pee, pee. way to go. I'm quite sure most of them are men also who watch it. Mississippi also has the nation's highest poverty rate, worst rated healthcare services, highest infant mortality rate, and where you're most likely to die in a car crash. Missouri has the nation's cheapest gas, but was also the site of America's worst dioxin disaster back in 1983. Montana has the highest high school graduation rate at 93%, but also has the worst access to the internet. Nebraska is home to a- What's the point of graduating from high school if you can't go to the internet? I wouldn't even want to graduate in that time. America's most reliable power grid and also has the highest rate of carbon monoxide poisoning. Nevada, unsurprisingly, makes the most tax money from gambling and also has the highest rate in nightlife, but at the same time has the lowest ranked social environment. Yeah, I mean, Nevada, Las Vegas is in Nevada, right? I think Las Vegas is like the um, half of the income of the whole state because this is a huge, huge shining city. And I think in America, if I remember correctly, there are only a few places where you are allowed to the gamble where where casinos are allowed to be and I think Las Vegas is only just, just one of those few cities so everybody just goes there and gambles their life away and then comes back and all of the money will be in Nevada 
New Hampshire has the country's lowest poverty rate, but also has the highest cocaine usage among young adults, with 10.5% of that population admitting to trying it within the past year. New Boy. Jersey has the lowest suicide rate and also has the lowest rate of short-term fiscal stability. Meanwhile, New Mexico is the best at choosing the winner of presidential elections. They've only been wrong three times since 1912. Unfortunately, the Ooh. state also has the lowest rated public safety, with the highest arson and Grand Theft Auto rates in the country. So New Mexicans, you know what the president, who the president will be. Who will be the next one, huh? Because of those, it's ranked as the worst state to raise a family in. While oh, no. New Mexico may be good at picking them, more presidents and vice presidents have origins in New York than any other state, with seven presidents and 11 vice presidents. But New mm. York also has the highest taxes and highest abortion rate in the country, with 2.4 percent. Hey, New Yorkers, why you don't have want to have babies? Why, why so much are abortions? Not good. Look, all of these presidents came from New York. You want to make new presidents? You gotta make babies for that. Percent of women having had one. North Carolina has the highest quality preschools, but also the lowest number of libraries per capita. North Dakota is ranked as having the highest quality of life while also having the worst alcohol problem. Tw okay, highest quality of life, North Dakota. Maybe that's why North Dakota is leading in this Southern YouTuber Cup competition. 34 orders. That's the good life you live there. 24.7% of adults drink excessively in the state. Ohio is America's most affordable state to live in, but it may not be worth it if you have allergies, as seven out of the top 35 cities worst for allergies are located here. Oklahoma is home to the largest casino in the US, but also has the lowest salaries for teachers at just $39,306 per year, while also being the location of the most deadly tornadoes, 65 since 1950. Or Oregon has the highest number of craft breweries per capita, and it's the only state I couldn't find anything they were the worst in. So, congrats. Pennsylvania- <laughs> Congratulations, Oregon. You're good at everything. Pennsylvania grows the most organic mushrooms, and it's where you have the highest probability of hitting a deer while driving. One in 63 odds. Meanwhile, Rhode Island has the lowest number of fatal industrial accidents per capita, while also having the worst quality roads and bridges. South- <clears throat> Rhode Island is the smallest state, right? Look how tiny it is. Gotta be the smallest one. Carolina produces the most nuclear energy per capita, but also treats their elders the worst of any state. South Dakota is the most hunter-friendly state, with 26% of the population taking part, but also has the nation's highest employment and income gap by race. Ten okay, so all of you go hunting. Quarter of the population in South Dakota go hunting. That says a little bit, something a little about the gun laws in America. If quarter of the population in a state can go hunting, they all have licenses for guns, right? Or they just can take their weapons and go. Means it, it's quite, you're quite free to do what you want with your weapon. Tennessee has the highest number of caves, but also the lowest number of dentists per capita. Texas produces the most wind energy and has the highest migration rate, with over 1,000 people moving here every day. But every day? Whoa, that's 365,000 people a year. And also if the highest wind energy producer is Texas, I, I thought it's the highest oil producer also. So it's just the highest energy producer in general. Maybe except for the new nuclear energy. Texas also has the lowest voter participation at just 39% of the population Ooh, and the worst Better nursing enough. home quality. Utah has America's highest church attendance at 53% of the population going at least once per week, while also having the highest rate of skin cancer diagnosis. Vermont is ranked as the most equal state in terms of gender employment and income, but also has the highest college tuition fees. Virginia, meanwhile, has the lowest overall asthma rate while kind of contradictorily having the highest toxic pollution rate with 20 pounds of waste per square mile wait how can you have the lowest number of asthma and then you have huge ginormous uh, numbers for pollution it doesn't really make sense talking about the best and the worst thing being connected the here they are truly disconnected Washington is America's most bicycle friendly state and weirdly has the worst invasive snail problem back over in West Virginia you'll find the most equal state in terms of education level and income by race but the state also has the highest obesity rate at nearly 38% of the population. They don't mention that in the West Virginia song, Take Me Home. None of that is in the song.
the lowest amount of people with a college degree at just 19% and the highest death rate related to opioid overdoses. Second to last is Wisconsin, which is the largest producer of cheese but has the lowest equality in jailing by race, with over 1% of the state's minority population currently residing in jail. And here we arrive at Wyoming, which is America's least populated state. Look, another rectangle, another square. I haven't really looked at the shapes of the states before, and here I can see each and every one of them. And we have two full squares, and I remember we had two states that almost looked like, like rectangles. Only 579,000 people live Whoa. here, less than the population of Milwaukee. This low population means that a resident of this state has 3.6 times the voting power in a presidential election than a resident of California does thanks to how the Electoral College works. But Wyoming also has the highest number of fatal industrial accidents per capita and the lowest job growth rate in the country, at negative 0.6% per year. While jobs may be shrinking in Wyoming, they're rapidly growing across the United States and in general. 213,000 jobs were added by US employers just last month and even more are going to become made available in the future. Well that was a lot of information very fast and I'm quite sure, I, let me tell you honestly, I almost recorded none of it. I don't think I would remember if you would tell me a state and tell the worst and best thing about it, I wouldn't remember it. It's These videos are super fast, super quick and they're fun to watch but honestly this kind of stuff doesn't really educate because I can't remember st things this quickly. I need a thorough video that step by step brings you up to something but not this like boom 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 in your face but it's still fun to watch so we're gonna do it in the future also but now my friends we are going to thank some patrons together because thanks to them this channel can still keep going we have Aeon1006 thank you we have Melanie B Melon B well I think you might be one of the very few women to be a patron we don't have many of them but you represent your gender quite good here thank you very much we have Kevin J Ennis I can only assume that the J stands for James or John and Josh and all of the J words that you have in America thank you for becoming a patron if you want to become a patron and support the channel like these heroes the link is in the description below meanwhile go and get the stone and youtuber cup and as always, my friends, until my next video, stay cool and bye-bye.